If you have been here to Coastal Delaware, it is no secret that we've got new construction going up everywhere with the boom of people moving to the area. And now we have two more new construction communities proposed that are going to the board for approval. So let's dive into a little bit about what we know so far about those communities and what exactly they're gonna look like. Before we dive into the content, my name is Matt London. I'm a real estate agent here in Coastal Delaware. And I put out content each and every week discussing what it's like to live, eat, breathe, sleep, and play right here in Coastal Delaware. If that's something that you would like to see some more of do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below and smash the notification bell next to it and then if you are someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in coastal delaware that's what we help you with every single day and we would love to work with you so all my information is going to be down below in the description and here on the screen please don't hesitate to reach out we love hearing from you guys here on the channel as we drive through the area and as we have new visitors come to the area all the time one of the biggest things that i hear is wow they are really building everywhere. You know, there's new construction communities all over the place. They're popping up left and right. We've got new approvals into the town and county council all the time. So today we're going to discuss the two newest projects that have been proposed for Lewis. And those are going to sit right along Kings Highway as you head into Lewis and cross streets can be Gills Neck Road. So right at the intersection of Gills Neck Road and Kings Highway is where you're going to find these two new communities that they've been proposed. They have not been approved yet. There is still another hearing that they need to go through where they will hear public opinion on the plans and all that kind of stuff. The first community that we're going to look at is going to be Henlopen Bluff. The proposed community of Henlopen Bluff is going to be 79 home sites on 61 acres. There's just a lot of activity going on along that Gills Neck Road corridor. You've already got Showfield right there. You've got governors off that road. You've got senators off that road, along with a bunch of others. And they've already started construction on Old Town, which is going to be right there as well. So it's just going to add a little bit of extra traffic to Gills Neck Road. And and now there's just going to be a little bit more activity along that road. And then the second part of that proposed plan is going to be White's Pond Preserve, which is going to be 13 home sites on 8.2 acres. So we're looking at a total of 92 home sites that are going to be added to a about a 70 or so acre plot, which is going to just add some again, additional car traffic and bike traffic to those roads. And one of the big concerns at the initial council meeting was that it's going to put a lot more bicycles on the Gills Neck Road, which is already a very heavily traveled road to begin with. So they've asked the developers to add in some additional bike paths and multiple modality trails. That way people don't have to go onto the roadways, either walking, biking, or those kind of things to help keep people a little bit more safe. Now they do have some revisions to make based on the initial meeting on July 19th. However, the next scheduled meeting is going to be September 28th, and that's going to be the only chance they get for public opinion. So those people that are heavily opposed or heavily in favor of those items, September 28th is going to be the day that you get to go voice those concerns, either yay or nay, whatever you feel is, is appropriate. Uh, but it's going to add more traffic to that area. There's a lot of farm fields there now, and with the proposed projects that are going to be starting in the coming years and these additional projects, it's going to become a very busy corridor there along Kings Highway with a lot of traffic going into downtown Lewis. And it's just going to be a lot more built up than it has been for the last it, you know, forever actually. Um, but it's just gonna be a little bit more built up. You're gonna have a lot more road traffic, you have a lot more bicycle traffic, and it's just gonna be more people east of Route 1 in Lewis, right, wrong, or indifferent. I'll leave you guys up to decide, you know, what your personal thoughts are. But it's, you know, housing is needed in this area because there are so many people moving here. But I like them to be a little bit more selective in where they're putting that housing versus just slapping a whole bunch of it in one area and ultimately overcrowding that one particular area. So we will we'll see what the council says after the public hearing on September 28th as to whether or not it's an approved project or not. Uh, but I think, you know, depending on what all the plans are, it could be good, but I wish they would space those homes out a little bit and leave just a little bit more space between the homes just so there's less home sites in that plot and ultimately less traffic. But I'm not the one that gets the say in that. I hope you guys found some value in today video discussing Henlopen Bluff and White's Pond Preserve. If you have absolutely any questions about the real estate market here in coastal Delaware and what that looks like, please do us a favor. Please don't hesitate to reach out. We love hearing from you guys here on the channel and all of our information will be down below in the description and right here on the screen. And then if you are someone that's looking to just learn more about coastal Delaware, the real estate here and what life is like here, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down below just so you can stay in the loop each week when we go live with new content discussing all things coastal Delaware. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace.